Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Gwinnett Stripers and the Durham Bulls. Digging in, Riley Unroe. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. And a close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. Stepping up now, Wendell Rijo. He'll get to take his first cuts here. The one one. Waves and misses for strike number two. Not the warmest night you'll see around here, and even 50 degrees at game time. Lays off the one two changeup, and he's worked it back to two and two. Here it comes. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Fox ranges back, and he has it for out number two. Digging in, Yonder Alonso. First the chance for him here in the top of the first Longer. with nobody on. Alonso. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. You know, on a cold night like this, I think you're going to see him continue to elevate pitches and let these guys just fly out to the warning track. Two balls and two strikes now. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. Riding into the box, Randy Rosarena. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Pache is there, and he has it for the first out. So striding forward now, Lucius Fox is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. And he missed with that one. It's ball four. A one-out walk here in the home first. Ready now. Nate Lowe. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. A swing and a ground ball to third. There's one. Back to first, but it's right over his head. And now, oh, this ball's going to wind up out of play. And a big mistake there. The set and the 1-1. One -one. Lined into right, a base hit. And the runner at third will put the brakes on here as they didn't want to chance it even with two outs. The right fielder. Cousins. To the plate now, Dylan Cousins. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit it now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. Full count now, three and two. And, whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. To the plate now is the designated hitter. Dalton Kelly comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. The 1 1. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still tied. Turned on, but it's wide at first and foul. Hard on the ground toward short. He's got it. Throw on to first, and that error won't come back to haunt him after all as the inning is over. And that'll bring up Peter O'Brien. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Changed things up on him and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Now here's the pitch. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. 
So the base is empty here with one away. And that means Jan Hervis Solarte will be the next to bat. One and two now as this catches the outer half. Fouled away. No score here as we play inning number two. And he takes very close to the inside corner here. Two and two, though. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away. So now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. So it was a swinging strike three. Yon Herba Solarte is sent packing for route number two in the inning. Outside in a full count, three and two. And he fouls this one off. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Bruhan has a play. And that retires the side. Kevin Smith will be next. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. Into the box now, Kevin Padlow. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Skied in the air to straightaway left. O'Brien will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Standing in, Vidal Bruhan. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second, just because he took the first one, that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Another payoff pitch. And, whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. Digging in for his second at bat, Randy Rosarena. 0 for 1 here in the early going. The 1 2. Misses, ball 2. One pitch shy of 40 for him right now, and he's not even out of the second inning of work. He's definitely not being as efficient on the mound as he'd like. Full count, 3 and 2. Now the payoff pitch home. Line drive, base hit. Throw comes in quickly from left, so even on the hit and run, they'll hold things to first and second here. Now batting. The shortstop. Into the box, Lucius Fox. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Harris is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Now batting Trey Harris and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Three two pitch. And he lays off there ball four so the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. Batting it. So stepping in Christian Pache first chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. The one one. Ball. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. And there's their first hit of the game. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. That is not the pitcher, Alex. So now to the plate, Alex Jackson hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. The 2 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Coming to the plate now, Riley Unruh. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. The 1 1. Liner toward right center. 
And that's into the outfield for a one out hit. The run comes across to score and they jump ahead one nothing. The batter number two. Second base. At the plate, Wendell Rijo. On the ground to second base, this could be two. A bare hand for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Leading off the inning, Nate Lowe. And they'll need him to get something going here. The 1-1. One, one. Ball swung on and missed for the first down. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Brian O'Grady, a base hit in his first trip. 1 1. Bases are empty, one man out. Grounded back up the middle, scooped up. Throw gets him, two down. Digging in to try it again. Dylan Cousins. He drew a base on balls his first time up. In for a strike and he jumps ahead one and two now. Hit back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to Alonzo takes care of him and that ends the inning. set for the start of the fourth in now yonder Alonzo he looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up the 1-1 one, one. fouled off this guy's been throwing the ball great so far but it's going to be tested here four five and six coming up this part of the lineup oh and they pull the string on a good change up there as he swings and misses and he's set down on strikes for now the second time tonight Peter O'Brien Popped him up. Low in foul ground. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now at the plate, Yon Herbis Solarte looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Just got the corner that time with a fastball. Strike two. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. Riding forward now is the D.H., Dalton Kelly. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. 1-1. One, one. Little chopper back to the mound. And there's one away. Now with the play, Kevin Smith. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. And he pulled up in time, but it's a cold strike two. Fastball laid off well below the knees. Line drive to left. And that'll get by and on through towards the wall. He's around first, heading for two. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. The, ball, the third baseman. Kevin. At the plate Padlo. now, Kevin Padlow. Hit out towards second. Reined in. And there's out number two. 
at the plate. Vidal Brujan, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. A ball and two strikes. And a slider is way low, but a good job there to knock this one down. Two and two. Here it is. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two, but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Hold high in the air out to right field. Right fielder giving chase. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. So striding in, Johan Camargo. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. The 1 1 home. Sinks below the ball. knees, taken for a ball. Two ball, one strike. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. O'Grady, a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Now batter. Digging in, Trey Harris. He worked a walk and came around to score in his first trip in this game. The 1 1. Slow grounder to first. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Standing in, Christian Pache. He reached on a single in his first try. Outside, two and one. Two, one. two out, nobody on. Hit down the third baseline. But this will be a That's foul down. ball as that evens things at two and two. Lazy fly ball out to center field. Here's the center fielder. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Digging in once again, Randy Rosarena. Last time through was a base hit. The 1 1 home. Breaking ball is swung on and bounced to short. Scooped up, and a good throw gets him one gone. Ready for another shot now. now. Lucius Fox sure comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Now the 2 1 pitch. Swing and a liner. And a base hit as that's into left, and they've got themselves a base runner. Standing in now, Nate Lowe. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Halfway to the plate, this hitter's wondering why he even pulled the trigger on that. His hands feel like he's being stung by wasps right now. To two balls and two strikes now. He's struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. Full count now. Three-two pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle, and that's through for his first base hit in this one. The throw to third. Throw won't get him. Into the box now. Brian O'Grady. Swing and a flare hit toward right. And that's going to fall for a base hit. Now batter, right fielder, Dylan. Stepping in now, Dylan Cousins. Just out in front of that one, still two and two. Breaking ball well inside and taken for ball three. This one's down to third. The second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired.
Top half of the sixth about to get started. So coming to the plate, Alex Jackson. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Now the three and two pitch. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. Now batter, the court card, Riley Umrow. Into the box, Riley Umro. Grounded to third. One there. On to first, and they get them both. So base is empty now after the double play, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Wendell Riho. Now the one and one pitch. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Next will be the designated hitter, Dalton Kelly. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. All even now, 2 and 2. Here it comes. Three and two now. Great A.B. up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. Popped up. And he'll lunge forward to make the catch for the first out. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Kevin Smith. He doubled his last time through. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A.B., maybe Down. once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last Third night. Baseman. Now at the plate, Kevin Padlow. He Padlow. was retired via the ground ball last time up. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Slapped hard the opposite way. But a good play by the first baseman to spear this one, and that'll retire the side. Here's Yonder Alonzo. Changed up on him and dropped it in for a called strike. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The batter. Now with the, the play, Peter O'Brien. He struck out and flied out. 0 for 2 so far. The 1-1. One, one. Hit to third. Fielded cleanly. And there are two away now. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Yonherba Solarte. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. The 1-1 home. This is pulled into right. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. Now that is the third base. Johan. In now, Johan Camargo. Fastball laid off well below the knees. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is retired. Chad Sabatka will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Last half of the seventh here, stepping into the box, Vidal Bruhan. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. To two balls and two strikes now. Playing two balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. 
Riding in once again, Randy Rosarena. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. 1 1. He is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. One ball, two strikes. Slider, and that's hit on the ground towards second. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And that's the second out. Digging in and looking for more, Lucius Fox. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Well, this isn't his more accomplished side. As a general rule, he's a much better hitter from the right side, but they're looking for him to come through here, swinging the bat left-handed. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. One pitch away from wrapping up a very good innings work out of the bullpen here. Popped up. And he'll get in there safely. At the plate, Nate Lowe. Swing, and he puts a charge into this one. High and deep, and you can forget about it. This ball is gone. Your attention, please. So they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. To the plate now, Brian O'Grady. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Phoenix Sanders will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. Ready to begin the eighth at the plate, Trey Harris. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Here's the one and one pitch. And a ball popped foul to the right side out of play. And it's fouled away. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Now to the plate, Christian Pache. Christian Pache. The 3-2 pitch. On the ground to the right side. On to first, and there were two down. Stepping in, now Alex back. Jackson. A hit in two Alex tries so far. Jackson. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. Two, two and two now. The play two. Two, two. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Left fielder giving chase. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Digging in now, Dylan Cousins. He's 0 for 2 with a walk thus far. The 3-1. Is swung on and missed, and that's a full count now. Three balls and two strikes. Now the three and two pitch. Swing and a miss got him reaching. The throw down to first, one away. At the plate, Dalton Kelly. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 2 1 is strike two swinging. Hops this one up just beyond the infield on the right side. Riho takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. So digging in now, Kevin Smith. He's working on a one for three thus far. Misses badly. It's ball two. Ball. 
fastball, and hmm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. This is skied into short left center. Left fielder coming in. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Aaron Loop comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 15. Riley Unro will be the first one to greet him as he'll have to turn around and bat from the right side of the plate here. Hey, it's never easy scoring runs against a closer, but this lineup is setting up perfectly right now as the leadoff hitter leads off this inning. Swing and a liner. So this will be taken in out there at short, and that's the first out of the inning. Ready for another chance. Wendell Rijo. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. Lou is among a dying breed. Those lefty specialists whose roles are changing with the new rules around reliever usage. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be scored as an infield single. So now to the plate, Yonder Alonso. And he missed with it, ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. Peter O'Brien. Here's the one and one delivery. It's one and two. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. Right fielder giving chase. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Stepping up to the plate, Yonherba Solarte. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed. And now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Swung on and he went fishing in the dirt. Throw to first is in time. They got him and the ball game is over. Hey, one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home. So this was a big win to win at home in front of their home crowd. Close one tonight, 2-1 to one, the final score. The Bulls jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Trevor Richards takes the win on the mound, his second of the year. Aaron Loop records the save, his second. So that'll just about do it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. Here now is our final line score. First for the victorious Bulls. Two runs on eight hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. For Gwinnett, one run, five hits. Two errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 42 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.